Okay, so we have this can jam over here. This is something new to me, but essentially it's a system that allows you to tie it up some core and things like that. You can see right here how the tarp is set up right there. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna open it up and kind of gonna test that out right here on camera. I kind of show you how it works. Together we're gonna figure it out. And again, I'm gonna give you a closer look. I do have some core right here, so we should be able to run it through and see exactly how easy it is and exactly how it works so first thing first let's get it out of this okay so obviously this one come in a pack of four i believe you could buy it in different packs as well it doesn't have to be four you could get two and all that obviously you have here like a hook kind of design and as you can see right here that kind of opens up right this is going to clamp on to whatever right really easy you can clamp it to another one just like this or whatever surface you want to clamp this to. It looks to me like it's made out of plastic. And again, it feels kind of good. It feels steady. It doesn't feel like bad or anything like that. It feels okay. When you open this little section right here, which is like a little metal thing. In the inside, it does have like a little grooves where it kind of goes in there. Hopefully, you can see it right there. You can kind of see it right there. So, it clamps in there. And it looks to me like it's pretty decently secure so like i said this is going to be the cam jam and the reason why you get this is so you don't have to tie any knots or anything like that you run it through this and then you can clip it to a surface and you don't have to do any weird knots or anything like that that is going to be a pain to you know get rid of them if you like to go camping and things like that this is definitely going to be a pretty decent thing for you okay so let's try to figure out how to do this and if you see in this side the side is actually different than the other side. You can see it right there, and then you can see this side. Both sizes are totally different. So the rope is gonna go through here. You can kind of see a slack right there where it's gonna go through. We're gonna be using some of this 550 cord that I have right here. So again, we're gonna stick this through here. And if you notice right there, the cord kind of sits there pretty decently. And then in this side right here, we're kind of gonna go this way. There's like a little notch right here that you could kind of pull on it. And as I'm pulling on it, I want you guys to see this. It kind of opens a little space right there for the core. And now you got the rope running this way, right? And again, you could do a knot right here to kind of make sure that it doesn't come back. A little knot right there. So let me give you a look right here because this is about it. So again, the core is right here. It goes through this section right here. And again, if you clip it to something like that, it's going to stay here nice and steady. You see this? It's really nice and steady. If you need to tighten it up a little bit, you could just push a little bit more. And again, once you pull, it's not going back. So really nice and steady. So you could kind of tie it up with this side right here. Keep tightening it. And again, nice and steady. So again, pretty cool setup. I'm going to show you this one right here because this one doesn't have a cord. But just a really cool setup. Very beneficial. Very practical. If you like to go camping or maybe you have a truck and you're constantly moving stuff around, you need a cord. This is definitely a pretty cool setup.